In 2021, you heard me say this. There's going to be more chemistry than anything else in your biotechnology degree. And indeed, chemistry plays a crucial role in biotechnology due to its fundamental principles and applications in various aspects of the field. Today, we are exploring the importance of chemistry in biotechnology, and I'll try to explain why is it so important with some examples in the biotech industry. I think it's better if I try to explain the importance of chemistry in biotechnology through some examples. And here are some few reasons why chemistry is so important. One of the key reasons is that chemistry helps us understand and manipulate biomolecules, which are the building blocks of life itself. Biomolecules such as proteins, nucleic acid, carbohydrates, and lipids are central to biotechnological processes and their applications in biotech industry. By studying and understanding their structure, their properties, and their interaction, not just individual interactions, but interaction with themselves and other structures within a living organism, which basically is done by the chemistry of these molecules, we can unlock their secrets and harness their power in various applications within biotech industry. And the second example in biotech industry is the enzymes and catalysts. Chemistry also plays a crucial role in enzyme technology. Enzymes, which are basically catalysts in living organisms, they drive biochemical reactions and make them faster and more efficient. By understanding these chemical principles behind enzymatic reactions, scientists can design and optimize these processes, unlocking new possibilities for industries like medicine, agriculture, and if you take a, like a common example, making deter detergents and soaps biologically. And this is possible to the basic understanding of enzymatic reactions, which I mentioned earlier. And chemistry helps us understand these basic reactions. Chemistry is essential in recovery and development of life-saving drugs. Medical chemists use their knowledge of chemistry to design and synthesize new compounds with specific properties, which is also what most of the pharma scientists do. Through careful experimentation and testing, they create potential drugs that can treat diseases and improve human health. And that is what you learn in the pharma industry. But the basics of pharma industry also rely within the basic chemistry, the basic understanding of chemistry. Chemistry in biotechnology goes beyond drugs. It helps us unravel the mysteries of life at a molecular level. Techniques such as spectroscopy, chromatography, and other analytical methods are rooted in chemistry which allows the scientists to analyze and understand biomolecules, which is also achieved by understanding the basics of chemistry in this particular field. And I think for this video, this is also one of the best examples that I can provide you now. In order to understand the DNA of any organisms, you need to understand the building blocks of DNA, which basically are nucleotides. And in order to understand that, you need to have a basic understanding of basic organic and inorganic chemistry. This knowledge is of great value in the field of genetics, where we study the DNA and the modification of DNA and the molecules that carry our genetic informations. Chemistry also enables us to manipulate biomolecules through bioconjugation and biolabeling. It means that by attaching specific compounds or labels to biomolecules, we can track movements, purify cellular structures, or modify them for various purposes. This technique has great applications in diagnostics, in drug treatment therapies, and drug delivery systems for those therapies, and even for molecular imaging. Now, let's not forget about biomaterial. Chemistry also plays a vital role in developing materials that interact with biological systems. By understanding the basic chemistry of these materials, scientists can create biocompatible and biodegradable substances sometimes that can be used for tissue engineering, regenerative medicine, and for other purposes. Basic example of these types of materials are like synthetic, you know, uh, kneecaps and a lot of other products. The optimization of biotechnological processes and scaling up of existing biotechnological processes like 
Fermentation or biologically produced products through fermentation are an important aspect in the biotechnological food industry. By applying the knowledge of chemical reactions and the rules from thermodynamics, scientists can fine-tune conditions which helps them in ensuring efficient and cost-cutting production of biological products. A basic example in this field is actually any product from the food industry that has been produced using fermentation or that has been optimized using fermentation. So if we look into all these aspects of the biotech industry, whether it's the understanding of biomolecules, discovering new drugs, developing biomaterials or optimizing biotechnological methods, chemistry is the driving force behind biotechnology. Without understanding the basics of these biomolecules and the processes that they perform or that they go through, you won't be able to utilize them in a commercial manner in any of the subfields within biotechnology or in any of the industry that is so heavily focused on chemistry or that is based on chemistry. So you can say that it opens doors to endless possibilities, pushing the boundaries of what we can achieve in improving human health protecting the environment and exploring new frontiers within biotechnology. Here's a short summary of this video. If you break down every aspect of biotechnology to its basic units and building blocks, it tracks back to chemistry. So you can look at it this way. Every living structure in cell is made up of a biomolecule, which can only be explained with the help of chemistry. For instance, if you simply look into bacteria, and you want to understand the structures that make up bacteria so that you can use that bacteria for a commercial purpose. You look into the biological makeup of that organism and you try to understand the organelles, the systems and structures, and the molecules that make these structures perform different functions critical to life. Once you've understood these structures that make up everything within that bacteria, then you can make an assessment about the molecular makeup and its ability to be utilized in a commercial manner. These basic structures like proteins, nucleic acids, lipids and carbohydrates make life possible for all the living organisms on Earth. And understanding of these molecules tracks back to chemistry because, you know, everything is made up of atoms and molecules. So without chemistry, you will get nowhere in biotechnology and not only in biotechnology, but similar fields like food technology and other biomedical engineering or biomedical sciences fields. So that's been it for today. Give this video a thumbs up if this brought any sort of information or value to you. And subscribe if you're new to the channel and want more information on biotechnology. And remember to stay curious and I'll catch you guys in the next video.